Hello everyone, it's a nice Sunday, and uh, I'm Philip Georginian from Moscow, Russia, and today uh, we're gonna talk about some forest stuff that I have checked on my friend's pictures that he made uh, during flying over the forest of Yakutia. Yakutia is uh, one of the largest regions of Siberia uh, so if you if you check Google Maps you're gonna see it it's a huge huge place comparable to maybe couple of states of Texas and maybe maybe comparable to Alaska with the size of Alaska so uh, we're just gonna watch this uh, pictures and I'm gonna comment so this is uh, his pictures while he was flying on the plane it not was it was not far uh, or maybe high very high from the ground but that's what the pictures he got he got those strange lines strange lines which are which are all over the place and uh, as we can see it, they make some type of a grid and uh, as we see there is small distance between some lines and there is huge distance between some lines so some lines do intersect and make those uh, angles some lines are parallel some lines are not, not parallel but still they make uh, equal sided triangles and stuff like that so this is what it looks from the sky these are rivers and that's another picture of small grid you can see it's passing all those hills all those creeks and all those mountains and nothing is really a problem for those who did those grids okay and there's some more pictures of that area which I was uh, pretty much interested in and uh, it showed some uh, mining activity marks or traces of mining we see uh, a couple of terraces and rotor excavation as you can see it pretty clearly uh, what else we see this work of mining around those small things that they le uh, leave to measure the volume of uh, taken uh, stuff okay there's some more traces and they look like uh, maybe ancient giant tree stumps for me but uh, what we can see right now what is correct that it was mined this place is in the middle of nowhere and uh, you just can't go there and make such a correct uh, equal sided triangle out of nothing you know this is definitely the work of some instruments that they used and that's why we see it look like looking this way and there's some more and this is picture from the same place but in the summer as you can see we see those terraces 
everywhere. Uh, there's some more pictures of that summer flight. And uh, as you can see, they did some maybe gold or something like that mining. Maybe there's some uh, infrastructure for gold mining and stuff like that. There's some more terraces and see little grid still viewable here. And this is for example of uh, today's uh, gas station uh, work. As you can see, they make those uh, forest clearing to pass through this forest so they can ride in those vehicles. And but we see this ancient or maybe not very ancient step mining thing like a stages of something you know maybe they did something with gold or maybe some diamond stuff I don't know and there's some more greed in the summer the greed is not mm, really distinct can be distinguished in this forest because it the grass is the same color as a tree and so we can see but we can see clearly that they made it that grip pretty parallel lines and stuff like that and there's some sand which uh, makes a huge desert here in the middle of nowhere in the for in the taiga forest a huge forest you can find the desert which is definitely the signs of the mining activity here so that sand was like washed off those rivers and maybe they had some gold mining here I don't know okay something else I wanted to show you yeah those flat flat I don't know how do you call them table rocks or whatever they're everywhere and some of them have traces which are distinguishable as a mining traces and some still there's some more pictures of that interesting thing. There's another one which is a stage terraced, maybe tree stump, maybe something else, maybe just a rock which is table rock right now. Maybe it was some, you know, castle rock or something like that. I don't know. Looks like a uh, like different le levels, surely, like a steps of something, maybe some mining. And that's that area, and it's pretty f freezy over there. So right now, no one's living here. But as we can see, the grid, as we can see. those mining stuff someone does does their job and uh, someone used this grid for some reason I don't know because it's not good for forest production it's it's middle of nowhere you can see but they use it as a gas uh, gas uh, I don't know they do research on gas. Uh, does this area have a gas or does it not? So they use this stuff to uh, put on some seismal sens sensor uh, which is uh, connected to some cables and uh, they do a, a drilling maybe like uh, 30 feet deep in the ground and put a uh, 
C4 uh, explosive there then they make a, an explosion, underground explosion and those seismal sensors all over this grid show the 3D map of what's going on with this uh, area so you can see all those bubbles of gas of uh, oil or whatever it is here and uh, they use it today uh, this way all this grid as you can see those roads here but my question is if they did this grid so correctly so parallel and stuff like that how come they can't make such roads that go f across the mountains across the uh, uh, lakes and stuff like that and how can they they can't because they just can't do it they can't do this amazing calculations to make it completely correct and right with 90, de 90 degrees they just can't do it because they don't have this uh, technologies just to settle in some place in the middle of nowhere do such kind of grid with, with the manual uh, saws or whatever with those gas uh, motorized saws and uh, just cut all those trees on those lines with some sp specific uh, distance between the trees which is two and a half meters at least so the car can pass or the tank tank type of vehicle can do it there's no way they can do it today because it's impossible so they use the grid that was made by someone else and tell us the story about how brave those woodcutters were they just you know made those straight lines for tens of kilometers uh, with no uh, no miscalculation, always correct st stuff, precise, distance, parallel lines I don't know, you name it just impossible of course someone did mine here and he uh, those guys, ancient guys uh, use those lines maybe the same way we do and use them to save the forest from burning maybe they used it to make roads for their vehicles maybe they used it for some other reasons and now we found those lines we found those forest clearings and we most likely put the electric system inside them or use them as a roads uh, or use them as a forest cleaning of course we just use what we get So, make your own research on this topic. Uh, find me uh, a woodcutting guy who can say that he can do uh, 100 kilometers straight parallel lines uh, with the same equal distance between them, which is one and a half kilometers wide. And, uh, some of them you know are not parallel but just straight lines which never end never end for 20 30 kilometers just give me the guy who can say he can do it in the middle of nowhere with no uh, camp or maybe uh, something to recharge your you know instruments or whatever so you gotta be mobile and do it like you know during your season I guess because you cannot do it in the winter of course but I am not sure you can do it in the summer too because in the summer it's impossible to work there because a whole bunch of insects everywhere in this place and just eating people because it's impossible 
to escape those mosquitoes and those flies dan dangerous dangerous place because you don't mess around there it's a whole bunch of bears and stuff like that so you gotta be all prepared to do this type of job by yourself by your crew maybe a small crew and is it worth it really how, how much is this job gonna actually be this is the cheapest way to find out where the gas is at I don't know ask ask woodcutters who are really professional uh, can they go jump to some place in the middle of nowhere and you know do this job okay do this simply useless job from my point of view okay so thanks a lot guys for watching this video um, we have these lines all over the world so you can check your area you can uh, while you're flying around maybe in local airlines uh, picture what you see in the window and uh, make your own video on that and oh, please debunk me if I'm wrong please tell me if that is done in our modern era with with some proof maybe and uh, pictures of those perfect grids that they make for tens of kilometers and uh, thanks a lot subscribe put like and share this video bye